Okay, so good day, Grade 6. So our topic for today is about interpreting the gem dust rule and performing two or more indifferent operations. So nung kayo ay Grade 4 and Grade 5, so meron tayong mga uh, topic tungkol din dito. So yung sa Grade 4 natin, yung M dust, yung nagsimula lang tayo sa M, D, A, S. But now, doon naman tayo sa gem dust. So kasama na dito yung groupings and exponents. So, in this lesson, we are going to find out the order of operation to simplify expressions. The order of operation means order in which steps must be done to simplify and uh, an expressions. This follows rules of each set of operation. So, GEMDA stands for G. So, yung G natin, ito po ay for grouping. Grouping symbols are parentheses. So, ito yung parentheses natin. Then, we have brackets. So, ito yung bar, uh, brackets. Para siyang stapler. So, next ay braces. So, yung braces naman, ito siya. Yung parang medyo pakulot siya. So, itong tatlong to, yung parentheses, yung brackets, and yung braces, ito po ay yung ating uh, G, yung grouping sa gem dust natin. Ito sa G natin. Then, we have uh, for exponents naman, yung letter E. So, ito naman yung ating exponents. So, kung natatandaan nyo, meron tayong base and exponents na tinalakay natin nung nakaraan. Then, we have yung M naman natin. Ito ay for multiplication. Then, D. So, tulad na ng pinag-aralan natin sa grade 1 and grade 5. So, yung D is for division. And A is A and S ay yung A ay addition and yung S ay subtraction. So, order of operations naman sa PEMDAS. So, yung GEMDAS, wag malilito ha, yung GEMDAS and PEMDAS, pareho lang po yan. So, pinagkaib lang nila, yung G stands for groupings. So, yung groupings, tatlo yun. So, parentheses, brackets, and braces. So, dito, sinimplify na lang siya na yung P is parentheses. So, groupings pa rin naman siya. So, so order of operations, yung P is the parentheses, exponent, then multiplication, division, Addition and subtraction. So, paano natin siya ina-apply? So, uh, di ba may nakakita kayo halimbawa sa Facebook na mga uh, yung di, uh, may set of numbers na merong mga madaming operation. So, di ba nakikita nyo sa mga comments na meron siyang nagkakaiba-iba ng sagot yung mga nagko-comment. So, ngayon, paano malalaman ko ano yung tamang sagot? So, we follow this uh, rule yung order of operation natin, yung PEMDAS rule natin. So, anong uunahin kapag may maraming ganon? So, unahin nyo yung P, yung parenthesis. And then, so, pwedeng P or pwedeng E. So, ma alin mauna sa parenthesis or sa exponent. So, yun yung uunahin natin. Then, yun ang magka-partner. So, yan. So, ito muna, P at saka E. So, siya muna. So, kung ano yung mauna dito, kung ano yung nasa kanan, ah, sorry, yung nasa kaliwa, kung ano mauna sa kaliwa, yun po ang uunahin. Kung kaliwa, nauna yung may exponent, ito yun ang uunahin natin. Basta ang magka-partner dyan is yung parenthesis and yung exponent. And then, ang magka-partner namang sunod, pag wala na tayong parenthesis and exponent, is yung multiplication and division. Kung ano mauna sa M at saka sa D, ito yun po ang uunahin natin isolve. Then, pag wala na tayong multiplication and division, yung last natin gagawin is to add and subtract. So, anong uunahin nyo sa addition or subtraction? Kung ano yung nasa left, yun po yung uunahin. So, para mas maitindihan natin siya, so, let us have an example. So, yan. So, we have this example. So, we have 8 plus 2 times 10. So, dito, ang mali kasi minsan ay uh, kung ano yung nauunang operation, yun agad yung ginagawa. So, tulad dito, nauna yung addition, minsan yung ibang tao, ang ginagawa nila, kung ano yung nauunang operation, yun yung unang sinosob nila. So, magiging 8 plus 2, 10 times 10 is 100. So, yung 100 na yun, yun ay mali kasi dapat ina-apply natin yung ating PEMDAS rule. So, ano ba sa 
uh, PEMDAS yung unahin natin. So, tingnan nga natin. Ito siya, di ba? 8 plus 2 times 10. Meron ba tayong parenthesis or exponent dyan? So, wala. So, wala tayong unahin doon sa parenthesis or exponent. Sa multiplication division, meron ba tayong multiplication division dito? Meron. So, ito siya, di ba? So, ang unahin nyo muna is yung multiplication. Kasi nasa last part pa yung addition. So, ito. So, unahin nyo muna yung time. So, 2 times 10 is 20. So, ayan. Then, ibaba nyo yung 8. So, magiging 8 plus 20 na siya kasi pinagsama nyo na to. Then, saan natin na-apply addition? Kasi yun na lang natitira. So, 8 plus 20 is 28. So, ang tamang sagot talaga is 28. Hindi po itong 100. So, example number 1. So, we have 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus parentheses. So, ito yung close and open parentheses. 7 minus 2. So, ano nga yung apply natin sa PEMDAS rule? So, nakita natin dito sa PEMDAS rule, we have P. And meron tayong parenthesis dito. So, yun nga naunahin natin yung may parenthesis. So, baliwalain muna natin silang lahat. So, kopihin na lang natin siya. 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus. Then, solve natin itong nasa lahat ng parenthesis kasi yun yung una. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay? Then, meron na tayong subtraction, division, addition. So, nung unahin natin dyan sa tatlo. So, wala tayong exponent, wala tayong multiplication, division. So, yung division naman. Okay? So, ito yung unahin natin. Hindi pwede yung 10 minus 8 muna. So, ito munang division tayo. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, ayan na siya, 2. So, magiging 10 minus, then 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then, plus 5. Okay, then, meron tayong subtraction and addition. So, di ba magka-partner itong AS? So, uh, kung ano yung mga una sa kanilang dalawa, yun ang uunahin natin kasi sila yung magka-partner. So, since na una dito ay subtraction, ito yung uunahin natin. Kasi magka-partner ang subtraction and addition. So, kanina sa kaliwa, yun ang uunahin. So, 10 minus 2 is 8. Then, plus 5. So, 8 plus 5 is 13. Then, for example, number 2, we have 3 squared plus 2 times 8 minus 2 minus 3. So, yung nakikita nyo dito, bakit walang operation sa pagitan ng 2 at saka yung 8? So, ibig sabihin yan, yan ay times. Okay? So, times po yan. So, observe natin, we have, sa PEMDAS natin, we have P. Okay, so we have P and E. Okay, so kung makikita nyo dito sa example, inuna niya yung may parenthesis. Pero since magka-partner naman yung P at saka E, pwede nyo ring urahin yung mayroong exponent. So since ang inuna, inuna, inuna niya dito ay si yung may parenthesis, so yun yung nakalagay dito. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Then, yung exponent naman natin yung susunod natin. So 3 squared, ano ba yung 3 squared? So di ba siya ay 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is... 9. So, kaya siya magiging kaya siya magiging 9. Okay? Then, kopihin nyo natitira plus 2 times 6 minus 3. Then, meron tayong addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So, anong unahin doon? Yung multiplication. So, kaya siya magiging 9 plus 12 minus 3. Then, we have addition and subtraction. Magka-partner po yan. So, kung ano yung nasa Kaliwa, yun ang unahin sa addition muna. So, 9 plus 12 is 21. Minus 3 is 18. So, dito tayo sa learning task 1. So, let us evaluate the following expressions using GEMDAS or PEMDAS rule. Okay, so for number 1, we have 10 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3. So, apply natin yung PEMDAS rule natin. Okay, so unahin natin magka-partner yung P at saka E. So, meron ba tayong parenthesis and exponent dyan? So, wala po. So, tanggalin na natin siya. So, next na magka-partner, multiplication, division. Okay, meron po ba tayo dyan multiplication or division? So, meron po. So, ito po. 6 divided by 3. So, yun muna ang unahin natin. So, baba natin yung 10 minus 2 plus. Then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Uh, so, wala na tayong multiplication and division. 
Next is addition and subtraction. So, ito yung magka-partner. So, since na nakatitira natin dito ay subtraction and addition, unahin natin kung ano yung nasa kaliwa kasi magka-partner naman sila. So, 10 minus 2 is 8. Then, baba natin yung 2. 8 plus 2 is, so ito na lang is 10. So, ito po yung ating answer. Then, for number 2, so sulat ulit natin para hindi tayo malito. Sinusulat ko sa, ta sa taas na ang ating given. So, PEMDAS. So, meron tayong P at saka E. So, unahin natin yung parenthesis. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay? So, yun muna. Isa-isa yun natin para hindi tayo malito. Then, meron pa rin tayong parenthesis. So, ito. And... So, ano gagawin natin dyan? So, since ito ay mayroong exponent, so, yun muna isolve natin. So, yung 10 minus, so, 9 minus 2 times 2 is 4. Then, close parenthesis. So, may parenthesis pa din tayo. Nandun pa rin tayo sa unang uh, magka-partner. So, ito, 9 minus 4 muna. So, so sulat ulit natin yung 10. 9 minus 4 is 5. Then, ito na lang yung last. So, 10 minus 5 is 5. So, ito po yung ating answer. Okay. Next, we have number 3. So, 3 squared minus 15 divided by 5 plus 6 plus 4. So, ito ulit yung ating PEMDAS. Okay. So, unahin natin tong P at saka E. So, meron tayo ditong Three, uh, exponent at saka meron tayong parenthesis. Ano unahin natin? Yung nasa kaliwa. Kasi magka-partner sila. So, ito muna unahin natin. So, 3 squared. So, ang 3 squared ay 3 times 3. Ang 3 times 3 is 9. So, baba muna natin lahat. Divided by 5 plus 6 plus 4. Okay. the next. So, wala na tayong exponent. So, natitira natin is parenthesis. So, magiging 9 minus 15 divided by 5 plus, ano yung 6 plus 4? So, siya po ay 10. So, wala na tayong parenthesis and exponent. So, next natin is M and D. So, multiplication or division. So, meron po, po ba tayo dyan multiplication or division? So, ito po. Okay. So, copyhin ulit natin yung 9. Then, 15 divided by 5 is 3 plus yung natitirang 10. So, wala na tayong multiplication and division. So, we have addition and subtraction. So, since ito naman ay subtraction addition, nasa kung ano yung nasa kaliwa. 9 minus 3 is 6. Then, bring down natin yung 10. Then, 6 plus 10 is 16. So, ito po yung ating answer. Then, sa number 4, sa so madali lang to 5 plus 2 minus 3. So, kung i-apply natin ang PEMDAS rule, wala tayong P at E, wala tayong M at D. So, dito na tayo sa last. Addition and subtraction. So, kung ano yung nasa kaliwa. So, 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then, minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. So, next, number 5. So, we have 20 minus 5 times 4 plus 1. So, apply ulit natin yung ating PEMDAS rule. Okay. So, wala tayong parenthesis and exponent. So, multiplication and division. So, meron tayong multiplication dito. So, yun muna unahin natin. 
So 20 minus 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1. Then, wala na tayong multiplication and division. So, dito na tayo sa addition and subtraction. So, kung ano yung nasa kaliwa? So, 20 minus 20 is 0, then plus 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So, ito po ang ating answer. Then, number 6, we have 8 minus 2 minus, uh, 8 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 6. So, applying the PEMDAS rule. So, wala tayo dyang parenthesis and exponent. So, dito tayo sa multiplication division. So, we have multiplication and division dito. So, unahin natin itong nasa kaliwa. So, 8 times 2 is 16. Then, baba natin yung lahat. So, meron pa rin tayong division dito. So, 16 minus yung 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 6. 16 minus 2 is 14 plus 6 is 20. So next, we have number 7. So apply ulit natin ng PEMDAS rule. So dito tayo sa parenthesis and exponent. So ito po yan. Okay, so negative 3 squared. So since wala tayong negative pang lesson, yung operations na meron tayong mga integers, so ilalagay ko na lang dito. So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So minus 6 plus 3. So since ito ay uh, subtraction and addition na, so, apply na lang natin yung ating sa so, AS na tayo kasi wala naman tayo multiplication division. So, kanina nasa kaliwa. So, 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 3 is, ay, sorry, is 6. So, ito po ay 6. Then, we have number 8. 9 minus 8, min, uh, 9 times 8 minus 36 divided by 4. So, applying the PEMDAS rule. So, we have 9, minus, uh, 9 times 8 minus 36 divided by 4. Wala tayong parenthesis and, uh, parenthesis and exponents. So, dito tayo sa multiplication and division. So, meron tayong multiplication and division. So, kung ano yung nasa kaliwa. So, unahin natin yung 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72 minus 36 divided by 4. So, next, yung division naman. So, 72 minus, ito po ay 9. Then, 72 minus 9 is 63. Then, we have number 9. So, meron tayong 3 plus 2. Plus 8 divided by 4 times 4 minus 2. So, apply natin yung PEMDAS rule natin. So, meron ba tayong uh, parenthesis and exponents? So, ito po. So, ito. Okay. So, yun muna unahin natin. Copyahin muna natin yung mga hindi kasali. Then, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, meron tayo na, ah, wala na tayong parenthesis and exponent. Dito na tayo sa multiplication and division. So, ito yung multiplication natin. Ito yung, ah, ito yung division natin. Ito yung multiplication natin. So, unahin muna natin yung division kasi siya yung nasa kaliwa natin. So, magiging 3 plus 2 plus yung 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 2. So, last natin doon is multiplication. So, magiging 3 plus 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Then, for addition na to, so, simulan na natin sa kaliwa. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 
9. Then, last number 10. So, 16 minus 6 squared plus 36. So, sa PEMDAS rule, syempre unahin natin yung parenthesis and exponent. So, ito po siya. Exponent natin. So, yung 6 squared is 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 36. Then, so, wala tayong multiplication division, dun tayo sa addition subtraction. So, kung makapapasin natin dito, ito yung uunahin dapat natin. And since wala pa tayong lesson about operation, uh, in inti uh, about integers, uh, hindi pa natin ito masasolve, hindi nyo pa ito masasolve. Pero dito, uh, sundin na natin yung rules, so ito dapat ang uunahin natin. And kapag may minus na yung 16 minus 36, ang magiging sagot talaga dito is negative 20, then plus 36. So, ipapakita ko na lang siya. Then, uh, sa next week naman natin lesson, malalaman niya kung bakit ganito yung magiging sagot niya. So, negative 20 plus 36 is positive 16. Then, for learning task 2, so, meron tayong tinatawag na modified true or false. So, sulat daw natin yung true kapag ang statement is correct. Supply the correct answer if the statement is false. So, kapag true ang, ang ating equation, so, sulat lang natin true. Pero kapag false, sulat natin yung tamang sagot. So, for number 1, we have 10 minus 4 plus 9 divided by 3 equals 9 daw ba siya? So, check natin kung tama bang 9 siya. So, sa PEMDAS rule, okay, so meron tayong, ang unahin natin dito is yung division. So, magiging 10 minus 4 plus 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then, 10 minus 4 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So, tama naman siya dito. So, sulat natin is true. Then, sa number 2, we have 8 plus 2 minus 9 minus 2 squared equals 6. So, it, nakikita natin dito sa PEMDAS rule natin. So, meron tayong parenthesis. Okay, so nahin natin at itong nasa kaliwa. So, 8 plus 2 is 10 minus. So, yung 9. So, itong 2 squared is 4. So, may parenthesis pa din to. So, 10 minus 9 minus 4 is 5. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So, since ito, uh, 6 yung nakalagay dito. So, ito po ay false. So, pag false, sulat natin yung tamang sagot. So, ang tamang sagot is 5. Then, sa so number 3, so we have 3 squared minus 15 divided by 5 plus 6 plus 4 equals 16. So, sa PEMDAS rule, so unahin dahil yung parenthesis and exponent. So, since ang nauna ay exponent, so ito yung parenthesis natin, so unahin natin itong exponent. So, 3 squared is 9, so minus 15 divided by 5 plus, yung 6 plus 4 natin is 10. Then, sunod natin is division. So, magiging 9 minus 15 divided by 3 is at 15 divided by 5 is 3 plus 10. Then, unay natin 9 minus 3. So, yun pa is 6 plus 10. And 6 plus 10 is 16. So, since pareha sila, so ang sagot dito is true. Then, we have 5 plus 2 minus 3. So, unay natin itong 5 plus 2. So, yun pa is 7 minus 3 is so, kapareho po nito. So, ito po ay true. Then, for number 5, we have 5 minus 5 times 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 daw. So, unahin natin dito is yung multiplication. So, magiging 5 minus 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1. So, since meron tayong subtraction and addition, so, unahin natin subtraction. So, ganun ulit, ito po ang dapat talagang sagot dito is negative 15. 
plus 1, so magiging negative 14. So, since magkaiba sila na sagot, so, sulat natin yung tamang sagot. So, alam kong hindi nyo pa siya uh, napag-aaralan yung topic na to. So, pwedeng isulat nyo na lang muna siya dito and alamin natin kung bakit naging ganun yun sa next nating lesson. Then, sa number 6, we have 2 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 4 equals 12. So, ang inuura dito ay yung ating multiplication. So, we have multiplication and division. Multiplication muna. So, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4 divided by 2 plus 4. Then, sunod natin is division. So, magiging 4 minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 4. Then, subtraction. 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 4 is 6. So, ang tamang sagot po is 6. Then, number 7, we have negative 3 squared minus 12 plus 2. So, ganun uli. May mga positive, negative na naman to. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 minus 12 plus 2. So, unahin natin yung minus. So, 9 minus 12 is negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Then, number 8. So, we have 3, my, uh, 3 times 8 minus 16 divided by 4. Unahin natin yung multiplication. 3 times 8 is 24 minus 16 divided by 4. Then, dito, multi, uh, division and subtraction. Unahin yung division. So, magiging 24 minus 16 divided by 4 is 4. And 24 minus 4 is 20. Then, number 9, we have 10 plus 2. So, ayusin natin ito ng sulat, ha? So, 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 times the quantity of 4 minus 3. Okay, so ang unahin dito is yung parenthesis. So, maging 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 times 4 minus 3 is 1. So, ang sunod dito is multiplication division. So, unahin natin yung division. So, 10 plus 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1. So, meron tayong multiplication. So, magiging 10 plus 2 plus 1 times 1 is 1. Then, sunod, itong 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 1 equals 13. So, mali itong 2 natin. So, ito ay 13. And last, number 10, we have 11 minus 3 squared plus 3. So, unahin natin exponent. So, magiging 11 minus 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3. Then, 11 minus 9 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So, ito ay true. So, for learning task 3, so let us choose the letter of the correct answer. So, for number 1, so the order in which steps must be done to simplify an expression. An expression. So, this follows rules of each set of operations. So, ano po siya? So, yun po ay order of operation. So, letter C. Number 2, so we have 3 plus 4 minus 8 times 2. Plus, the quantity of 4 plus 2. So, solve natin to. So, unahin natin dito is yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, magiging 3 plus 4 minus 8 times 2 plus 4 plus 2 is 6. Then, sunod natin is multiplication. So, magiging 3 plus 4 minus 8 times 2 is 16 plus 6. Then, sunod natin is addition. So, 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 16 plus 6. Then, subtraction. 7 minus 16 is negative uh, 9 plus 6. So, negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. So, letter C.
Then for number 3, we have 24 minus 4 squared times 3 plus 15. So, unahin natin yung may exponent. So, magiging 24 minus 4 times 4 is 16 times 3 plus 15. Then, sunod natin is multiplication. So, 24 minus, so ito po ay 48 plus 15. Then, subtraction. So, magiging negative 24 plus 15. Negative 24 plus 15 is negative 9. So, medyo mahirap to kasi wala, na, wala pa naman tayong integer. So, uh, pakinggan nyo na lang siya, then aralin natin siya next week. Then, number 4. So, manahin natin dito is yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So, magiging negative 3 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. Then, sunod natin itong uh, unang addition. So, negative 3 plus 8 is 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 10 letter A. Then, number 5, we have 8 minus 3 squared minus 25 divided by 5 plus 5 minus 3. So, unahin natin yung nasa loob na parenthesis. So, 8 minus 3 is 5. So, 5 squared to minus 25 divided by 5 plus 5 minus 3 is 2. Then, exponent. So, 5 times 5 is 25 minus 25 divided by 5 plus 2. So, sunod ay division. 25 minus yung 25 divided by 5 is 5 plus 2. Then, 25 minus 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22. So, letter B. Ayan. So, doon pa lang tatapos yung ating lesson about agendas. So, medyo review lang siya. Parang... Kung natutunan nyo siya ng grade 4 and grade 5, madali na rin itong uh, pang grade 6. So, nadagdagan lang siya ng exponent and ng uh, groupings tulad ng parentheses. So, uh, I hope po madami kayo natutunan sa lesson na to and I will see you next week.